Where Did All the Animals Go is an exhibition of Northeast School Children's Endangered Species Biro Drawings at Thought Foundation Art Gallery. I've visited five schools and worked with over 200 children across the North East delivering drawing workshops for the exhibition. The aim of the exhibition and the Endangered Species Conference is to help raise further awareness of wildlife affected by human destruction and the subsequent impact of wildlife depletion on humanity if we don't act now. Children are naturally enthused by drawing and animals and children's art is evocative, honest and uninhibited and the exhibition provides an opportunity to experience the beauty of child art as well as form connections with each vulnerable species portrayed. Since I can remember, I've always loved animals and drawing. I remember sitting in my bedroom, um, eight years old, uh, reading in one of the magazines that the Caspian tiger had been declared extinct. And I was just devastated um, to read this because it is an animal that's so ingrained in our psyche and I just couldn't believe that it had been allowed to uh, go extinct. So I made myself a promise that when I was older I would do something to try and help endangered species. My art practice explores loss both to humans and animals generated by human destruction. I look beyond the statistics to create memorials to lives lived and ways of life and environments lost. In 2014, I founded Drawing for Endangered Species workshops in corporate partnership with the Born Free Foundation. The school workshops were designed to share my passions for drawing in biro and wildlife. Drawing transports the mind and the aim of the workshops is to inspire children to draw and enhance their self-confidence as well as generate individual interest and compassion for wildlife and the environment, which hopefully continues into adulthood. I've been delivering Drawing for Endangered Species workshops across the North East to a lot of different schools. I've worked with Linda Peacock, Arts Coordinator of Jarrow Cross Primary, and Christine Egan Fowler, Artist Teacher at the Royal Grammar School, Newcastle. We all want the best for the next generation. And as an artist teacher, I think one of the best starts in, in life <laughs> um, is to begin with perhaps the artist um, and uh, simple materials and to be able to create work that is meaningful and that tells a message that we want to pass on. Linda and Christine are inspirational art teachers and they came up with the idea of this project. I also deliver workshops for both adults and children at Thought Foundation, which is not only a fantastic gallery, it's also a hub of thoughtful energy and creativity for the whole community. We were thrilled when Born Free Foundation agreed to support the project and Will Travers, OBE president and co-founder, also agreed to be our headline speaker at the Endangered Species Conference. Laura Gossett, Head of Education at Born Free and David Bolton, Education Officer, have been invaluable help and David came up with the brilliant idea of giving each school a continent of species to draw. Research for the workshops was at times emotionally overwhelming because of the heart-rending images of the consequences of human destruction on wildlife and the sheer number of species that are now threatened with extinction. Equally, the selfless work of dedicated conservationists and greater awareness of what is happening to our environment gives hope for wildlife. The exhibition title came from one of my drawings in the exhibition. Where did all the animals go title also symbolises that if we don't act now, children in the future will ask adults this question and what are we going to tell them about why so many species disappeared from our planet?
It's difficult to express in words just how hard each child worked to create their beautiful drawings. I was moved by their will to consume the information about the animals they studied and how they embraced my method of drawing in biro with no pencil guidelines on large sheets of paper. How they understood why I asked them to try and make an emotional connection with the image of the animal they chose to draw and try to make a portrait of their animal as an individual being that lives its own life according to its needs, each portrayal contemplating what its eyes have seen and representing a species facing extinction. It also has to be said that some children I worked with have health issues which they overcame in the most amazing way to make their drawing for the exhibition. It has been a privilege working with such talented and dedicated children, staff and schools during this project. I am incredibly proud of the outstanding work the children have created and wanted every child's drawing to be displayed in the exhibition. Are we really saying goodbye to animals we have lived alongside for millennia? Nature is resilient, but we have little time left to help her turn the tide. And if we want a world that still has polar bears, tigers, pangolins, as well as the ability to continue to feed ourselves food reliant on pollinators such as bees, we must act now. My hope for this project is to further the collective responsibility we need to embrace to reverse what we as a species have created. The exhibition and conference have been organised on a voluntary basis with the kind help and funding from several organisations and I would like to say a heartfelt thank you to everyone that's been involved in this project, particularly the children and the wildlife.